Hey guys, this is your Monday practice and problem solving, and I suggest you keep this in your vicinity. And I do, as I do these, like I go from one sheet to the other, I mark these out so I don't get confused and use them again. I've done that in the past. Okay, so today's practice and problem solving is very similar to the review sheet we just did together. So, please. Take your time. You'll be fine. And I'll even make you a deal. So we got here 10 questions. No, you'll be fine. All right. So, number one, two. Which two apply? So you're going to have two answers here. Remember, write out your number and go through these individually. Take your time, guys. All right. Use this table. And it says, which statement is true about the two sevens in the Matthews population? So Matthews population right here. Oops, sorry. Put that in your uh, chart if you need to. Work through these individually. Which statement is true about the two sevens? Okay. And then you tell you this is the first, this is the second. Okay, just like we did earlier. Now this has assigned each nine with a letter. So it, they're like saying right here, V is, so V is 90. W is 9. So they're saying that V, which is 90, is one-tenth the value of 9. You know that's false. Now, this says all that apply. Let me do this in my head real quick. There's three. There's three possible answers here, okay? Three. Okay, what's the solution? Basically, what you're doing here is you're doing um, and this one right here. I think last year messed me up for some reason. One second. Yeah. So that means we're just making it um, one-tenth. I know we're multiplying, and usually when we multiply, we go this way. But when we multiply a fraction, the decimal moves this way. Okay? Remember, one place for each ten. And I don't know why they gave you that many options here. And then we have two and six-tenths divided by one-tenth. And this is the opposite of what we just said. Okay. This one, you're actually moving the decimal Whoop. that way. Okay, which number? Y'all can do this one. You know that one. Which two numbers? So you got two numbers here. Uh, okay. Remember, when you have a tenth, like one tenth or one hundredth or whatever, it's saying what is one tenth the number. That means the smaller, it's going to be smaller than the original number. All right, guys, that is your Monday assignment for math. I hope you stay well, and I will see you all later this week.